Let's take a look at how to create sprite sheet animations in Arcade. I prepared two files, one is this enemy sprite sheet PNG, and it is only a one row image and with 15 columns, so it has 15 sub images or frames. And the only thing changing from frame to frame is this light on the, on the side of this UFO. And the second image I'm going to load is this running cat. So it has four rows and two columns. And because this, this is the easiest, I'm going to start with this one, with the enemy sprite sheet, the PNG. I already prepared here a Python file, which just creates an empty arcade window. And here I created two member variables, one is the play, set.player list and the second is the set.player, and both are set to none. And here I created a setup method, and the setup method is automatically called when the my game window is instantiated here. So let's get started. Here in the setup method, the first thing I'm going to do is just set the player list to an arcade, arcade.sprite list object, and set the set player to an arcade that animated animated time sprite. So in the previous video, I used the animated walking sprite object or class and here I'm going to use this animated time time sprite and to actually load all these 15 images or all these 15 frames I'm going to create a for loop for that for this so for I in range 15 here just give pass because before before we continue we, we just uh, need to set for the player the Textures so self that player that textures to an empty list. So don't forget this step. Self that player that textures equals an empty list. And now into this list, into the self that player that textures, I'm going to append uh, and uh, a new arcade texture. So using the arc arcade that load texture and give it the file path. So which is in the sprites folder, and here it is, enemy sprite sheet. So, the sprites folder, and the enemy sprite sheet.png. And to actually, in each, each iteration of this for loop, I just want to move, so first I'm going to load the first frame, which, is, which started 0, 0, and its width is 100, and its height is 100. Then the x will be incremented by uh, 100, so now the x uh, in the second iteration, the x will be 100, the y will be still just 0, and width 100, height 100. So each of these sub images or these sub frames has a width and a height of 100 by 100. So here I'm going to just do the in the load texture, so x will be equal to i times 100 the y will be equal to always just 0, and the width will be equal to 100 pixels, and the height will be equal to also 100 pixels. So this is how you can load multiple uh, files, I mean multiple uh, uh, frames into the textures. And now the second thing I'm going to do is set the self.player self that player that center x equal to 1280 by 720. I mean 1280 by 2. <laughs> and the center y to 720. So this is the windows width 1280 and this is the windows height. So this will just center the, the sprite into the middle of the window. And the last thing I need to do is just append to the player list. So sell that player list that append the self that player. And here in the on draw method, I'm going to draw the player list. So I'm just going to copy it and sell that player list that draw. And don't forget to actually update the animations in the, in the on update method. So sell that player list that update underscore animation and now we should have an animated 
UFO sprite sheet. So as you can see, this light on the side of this UFO is changing. And now let's take a look at how to load, because this was just easy, because we had a sprite sheet which has only one row. And now let's take a look how to lo load uh, or create a sprite sheet animation from this sprite sheet. Okay, so this sprite sheet, each of these frames has a width of five, uh, 512 and a height of 256. So the next frame is also 512 in width and in height it has uh, 256. So it starts with this frame and goes to the right to the next frame. This is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and the eighth frame here. So now let's take a look at how to load this. And uh, here I'm just going to comment out this line, which loads the enemy sprite sheet. And, and let's take a look. So one way to do this is actually just um, do... So I'm just going to copy this line. And, oops, and I'm going to paste it here. And using the arcade that load the texture, now I'm going to change the enemy sprite sheet to running cat.png so running cat.png cat and the x will be will start at, at uh, 0, the y at 0, the subframes width is 512 and its height is 256. Now let's do this for the other 8 frames so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and in the next frame the x will be 512, the y is still the 0 and the width and the height uh, won't change. So the width and the height just always stays at 512 and 256. And in the next frame, I mean in the third, the x is 0 and the y is now 256. And here in the fourth x is uh, 512 and the y is still 256. So you see the pattern here, so that here in, in the X it will just always be 0, 212, I mean 512, then 0, then 512, then 0, then here 512, and oops, another 0, and here 512. And here it just always will be incremented, y, the first two Y's will be 0, the second and the third Y's will be 256 and 256, the third and the fourth will be 512, so 256 times 2, and the next will be 2512 plus 256, which is 767, I mean 768, and okay, 768, and uh, did I, so 512 plus 256, 768, so, and now if I run it, now we should have a running cat. So this x0, y0 points to this location and its width is 512 and its height is 256. The next uh, x512 and y0 points to this location and from here goes to uh, 512 and 256. The next x0 and y256 points to this location and goes from here the frame width and the frame height so this rectangle and so on so the 512 and 256 points to this location and goes the frame width and frame height so it is also can be done using just a for loop so if i'm just going to comment out all of these and i already prepared the for loop so i'm just going to copy from my tester file and here it is and I'm just going to a little bit explain how it works so we have eight subframes so that's why we need to loop eight times so for, for x in range eight and if I need, need to create here also the x position and the y position like this so we have an x position and a y position and they both start at zero and if x modulo 2 is 0, so in the first iteration 0 modulo 2 is 0, so the x position will be set to 0. And in the next iteration 
which is one, so x will be one. One modulo, modulus two is one, so the uh, this is false. So this will be executed, and x position will be set to five twelve. And here I'm also asking if x modulus eight in uh, is two four or six. So here it is uh, zero one two four or, or six. Then we need to increment the y position by 256 and then just append the player texture using the, I'm just going to here delete this one, using the sprites that un, uh, slash running cat. And here I'm just setting the x to x position, y to y position and the width is always 512 and the height is always 256. So now we just made it a little bit uh, more convenient using for loop, although this is also acceptable to do it like like this one. And let me take a look. So we have the same animation loaded, but now in a for loop.